Hello and welcome to Let's Translate Manga. Right off the bat I'm going to apologize if you happen to hear another muffled voice in the background of this video. Uh, that'll be my husband. He's in the next room running a Pathfinder campaign. So uh, if you hear some other muffled voice in the background that, that don't, don't mind that voice. Anyway, this is part two of the manga series Marginal. Uh, I'm assuming that you have seen part one uh, and you're briefed on what this series is and what we do. Check the show notes if you're not familiar, uh, but I really recommend you watch uh, the first episode, the first part of Marginal, uh, just so you know what's going on. Anyway, let's jump right into it. So we left off with our heroes. <laughs> we call them heroes. Uh, going to sell uh, their bangle slash bracelet so they can go see a, well, different uh, patrons translated it different ways, an Edelko. Um It's a, a sex worker, but like uh, there's a little more nuance to it. Um, one of the patrons translated it as a catamite. Um, it's a more archaic term for a like young male um, sex worker. Uh, I think there was like a sweet young thing and a boy from the other patrons. Basically, that's what they're off to do. Um, so yeah, I guess a little content warning. Um, there, there actually isn't anything explicit in, in this, but like, um, one of the characters, Grinja, is going to be having a conversation with a young sex worker. So if you don't want to hear any of that, then go watch some other video. Okay, so page 16 is where we're starting. Um, the receptionist is saying, Furui ude wa da ne, kunya wa amari ii no ga no kotte nai yo ii ka ne. So like, this is a pretty old bangle. Uh, we don't really have many good ones left this evening. Still okay with that? And Green just says, E, like, yeah, I'm fine. And then the receptionist okay. says, Chito, o kyaku. Chito, I assume, is a person's name. O kyaku, you've got a customer. And then the sound effects, chidirin. Wakai ho wa nikaya itte. And then Green just goes upstairs and the sex worker says, kuchi. And that's all of page 16. So let's just do all of page 16. Uh, patron A translated it as um, receptionist of Furui Udewadane. It's quite an old bangle. Uh, there's not many good ones left tonight. Is that okay? That's fine. Ding ding. Chito, customer, go upstairs for the younger ones and then over here. Uh, patron B, clerk, this is pretty old. The good ones are already taken for the night. Got it? Uh, Green just says, that's fine. Clerk says, Chito, a customer, ring ring. Clerk, the younger one can go ahead, can, the younger one can head to the second floor, Chito, this way. Um, and then patron C, uh, this is an old piece you've got, didn't establish that it was a bangle. It's a nitpicky. He says literally, udewa, bangle or bracelet in Japanese. Um, sadly, our best are all taken. That okay with you? So yeah, notice just different ways of wording this. There's not many good ones left tonight, is that okay, from patron A? Um, from patron B, the good ones are already taken for the night. Got it. And from patron C, sadly, our best are all taken. That okay with you? No, they all say exactly the same thing, basically. Like, they just have slightly different feels to them. Um, and then the, the sound effects. Ding ding from patron A, ring ring from patron B, dingling from patron C. It is closer to dingling. Chidi ding. It sounds more like dingling. Uh, it, it's kind of up to your letterer. Um, how you're going to do that. I haven't finished Patron C's dialogue yet, so the younger of you two, third floor. This is an important distinction that the other patrons missed. Okay, so yeah, this line, um, wakai ho wa nikai e itte. Um, so this, this is a little, it can be a little confusing, right? Wakai ho wa, like as for the younger of you too, or of a bunch of people. It's not really distinguished how many people he's talking about. Nikai e itte is pretty self-explanatory. Go up to the second floor. It's like the younger of bleh, you too, or you 20 people, uh, go up to the second floor. But Greenja and his friend, God, I forget his name already, um, the, the guy with the dark eyeliner, <laughs> They both have dark eyeliner. Anyway, there's two of them. And Greenja's younger than the other one. So yeah, one could assume from context that he's talking to the customers. It's like, the younger of you two customers go up to the second floor. Not if you want to be with a younger sex worker, go to the second floor. So patron A did go upstairs for the younger ones. That was, you know, that interpretation um, of like, a go up to the second floor if you want the younger ones. 
Um, patrons B and C got the distinction of the younger one, uh, as in, you know, the younger one of you two gentlemen who are, have come here to <laughs> use our services, uh, head to the second floor. So yeah, this is just, it, it's an honest mistake. It's, it's a very easy to, mistake to make because, again, it's like, It's like, you could interpret that as, if you want to be with a younger one, go up to the second floor, versus it can also be interpreted as, like, the younger of you two go up to the second floor. Honestly, the second interpretation does... Uh, make a lot more sense. I think if he had been saying, if you want a younger one, then go up to the second floor, I think that would have been worded differently in Japanese if that were the case. Um, but yeah, that's honest mistake. <laughs> I, d I think that that's a pretty easy mistake to make. Okay, so on to the next page, page 17. So Chito, the Iroko, says, Anta ryokousha? And Greenja answers, Ah! <laughs> and then Chito says, Kodomo wo morai ni kita no? And then Greenjoy answers, yeah, da da da. And then there's a dog under the bed that goes, coon. <laughs> and then uh, Greenjoy says, sono tebukuro wa kegaka? Chito says, mitai? Question mark. Removes his glove. And then Greenjoy says, mada irotsuki no kodomo ka? Kodomo wa dakanzo? And then Chito says, kodomo janai, mo jugo da. On that controversial note, let's go with the translations. <laughs> if you understand Japanese, you know why that's controversial. All right, so uh, patron A, Chito says, are you a traveler? Greenja answers, yeah. Chito, did you come to get a child? Greenja, no. Dog, wine. <laughs> Greenja, you have gloves on. Are you hurt? Chito, want to see? Greenja, you're still colored like a child. I don't sleep with kids, you know. Chito says, I'm not a kid. I'm already 15. Patron B, Chito, are you traveling? So are you a traveler versus are you traveling? Greenja, that's right. Chito, here to receive a child? Greenja, no. Dog, wine. Greenja, what are the gloves for? You hurt? Chito, want to see? Greenja, still marked. You're a kid? I don't sleep with kids. Chito, I'm not a kid. I'm 15. Uh, patron C, visiting the city? Ah, so see, are you a traveler? Are you traveling? Visiting the city? question mark. They all are really inquiring about the same thing. But are you traveling um, is a little more, I mean, it's more what the Japanese is, uh, a traveler. Um, but patron C, visiting the city, it's like, where? why else would he be traveling? To visit the city. Um, so yeah, all of these are valid translations. Greenja, I. Remember, patron C earlier was, was translating like, um, they translated, uh, it was either Greenja or his uh, friend saying nay instead of no. They're just, they, they've elected to use a more like Shakespearean <laughs> or like more archaic sounding uh, English, which I dig for this series, even though it's like future dystopian, it kind of has an ancient feel to it. Uh, Chito, to get a child. And then Greenja says, afraid not. And um, so no, no, afraid not. Afraid not is, is a different way of saying no. It has a little more uh, emotionality to it though. Uh, and then the sound effects for the dog with patron C, snuffle instead of whine. Yeah, so this is a tough call. Look how tiny that balloon is for the dog going just Kung! And if you think like what I, the sound I made just now, it is sort of that <laughs> like that's the sound it is. If, if you know dogs, you know what I'm talking about. It's that whimpering. <laughs> Um, which, you know, I can impersonate with my voice, but it's kind of hard to write that out in English. The Japanese kun, uh, you kind of get that vibe across, but it's kind of hard to get that in English and in such a small skinny balloon. I think wine is, is a fine choice because again, narrow balloon. Snuffle is kind of cool, but it's a little long for that little balloon. Um, Honestly, I wish there were, how, how would you, <laughs> person listening to this video, how would you write in, in um, English lettering? I'm, I'm curious about that because that's the sound it is. It's not really snuffle. Wine, it kind of is. It's, it's a whimper, but it doesn't sound like the word whimper. Uh, let's see. Moving on. Greenja. Gloves. Are you injured? Yeah, like the Japanese, sono tebukuro wa kega ka? So sono tebukuro wa, it, it's just one of those prime examples of how Japanese, especially when it's asking a question, you're setting up a question, but you're not finishing it. Sono tebukuro wa 
uh, non desca, or you know, would be like the most vague way of asking the question, what are those gloves? Um, sono tebukuro wa nan no tame, like what are those gloves for? Sono tebukuro wa hito korus tame no tebukuro ka, like are those gloves for killing people? Like, I don't know, he could add anything to the end of this uh, question, but he's leaving it dangling in Japanese. In English, we would be something more like, those gloves, dot, 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 are you injured? But yeah, patron A, you have gloves on, dot, 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 are you hurt? Patron B, what are the gloves for, you hurt? Versus patron C, gloves, are you injured? Gloves, I don't know, that feels a little abrupt to me. I, I'm pretty sure that, that patron C was just trying to keep it tight to fit in the small balloon. I kind of like patron A's approach of just turning that first question into a statement. You have gloves on, are you hurt? Uh, because in Japanese, the sono tebukuro wa, it's kind of a trailing, ah, I'm noticing you have gloves, but I'm not going to be super invasive and ask a specific question about it. Oh, just kidding. I'm going to ask if you're injured, kegaka. I often like to do what patron A did and like, in this case, just change the first sent thing into a statement. Those gloves, are you hurt? Something like that. Uh, what are the gloves for? You hurt. Gloves, are you injured? <laughs> Everybody translated the next mitai as want to see, which is good. Like, I think instinct is to go, do you want to see? Um, but again, especially in manga, you can eliminate pronouns whenever possible. Um, it's a good idea generally to eliminate them just to save space and also to sound more casual. Unless your character is not supposed to sound casual, of course. But yeah, mitai, that's a very casual Japanese, so wanna see? I would even probably do wanna, wanna see. Uh, want to see would fit the balloon a little better though. Okay, he removes his glove. Uh, patron C, the stain of youth. I won't sleep with a child. And then she just says, I'm no child, I'm 15. So you're still colored like a child from patron A versus still marked, you're a kid. Um, and then patron C, the stain of youth. <laughs> that, that sounds more um, judgmental which is fine, it's kind of warranted, because after that he follows it up with, I'm not gonna sleep with you if you're a child. Um, based. <laughs> um, I think patron B's is, is kind of the closest to the Japanese. Mada irotsuki no kodomo ka. Like, it, literally it's like, you're still a, a child with color attached. <laughs> <laughs> a colored child sounds kind of bad in English because that has other connotations um, that we're not talking about here. So it, apparently the lore in this world, as we can see, is if you have color on your hand, maybe it's tattooed or dyed or something, or maybe it's like a thing they're born with that just kind of naturally goes away when they're of age. I don't know. And apparently uh, 15 is, is of age or older than of age in this world which uh, think of that as you will. Maybe their years are longer than 365 days and this guy is actually 19 or something, who knows? Uh, we won't dwell on that too long. Um, but anyway, notice the slight difference. Uh, patron A chose uh, mo jugoda uh, to express that as I'm already uh, 15. The other patrons just said, I'm 15, I'm 15. Uh, I kind of like, yeah, I'm already 15 keeps the nuance. That's what mo is. It's not really needed though. Like it, it is, it's important to let the readers know that 15 counts as an adult in this world. And I'm, I'm no child, I'm 15 does that just fine. But just note that difference there for the mo. Okay, next panels in Japanese. Kurodano no cha da no, hada ni iro ga aru no wa mada kodomo da. More exposition and lore. <laughs> and then Chito says, Kore de ante shiterun da, uh, bubun ni iro ga nokoru no wo mosaiku te yun da te, medikaru senta ga so itte ta. All right, more lore about the coloring of this iroko's hand. So patron A did. Black or brown, if your skin, up uh, wrong your, ah, if your skin still has those colors, then you're a child. Cheeto, yes, but it hasn't gone away. People who are partially colored are called mosaics. That's what I was told at the medical center, okay? Uh, patron B, however, light the marks are, if you still have them, you're a kid. Ooh, big difference here, but I like it. Cheeto, they're stable like this. Apparently people whose colors remain on parts of their body are called mosaics. That's a bit of a word, a bit of a mouthful. 
Um, that's what the medical center said. And then patron C, be it black or brown, skin still stained makes you a child. Cheeto, it's settled in this color. They call us mosaics at the medical center. So note how incredibly tight patron C's translation is. And I think everything is still in there uh, that was in the original Japanese. Like this first line, kuro dano, cha dano, this dano, dano grammar rule, it's, um, it's, it is kind of like, oh, I don't care if it's this or that or whatever. So be it black or brown, skin still stained makes you a child from patron C. Patron B, however light the marks are, if you still have them, you're a kid. And patron A, black or brown, if your skin still has those colors, then you're a child. The black or brown is good from patron A, however light the marks are, if you still have them, you're a kid. Note how patron B just got rid of the colors altogether. And that's not exactly wrong because he's just kind of throwing out black or brown as just examples. He's like, I don't care if you're black or blue or purple or we're all human beings. <laughs> like the, that kind of statement. Um, so yeah, and he was just throwing out black or brown as, as examples. So it's fine to say however light the marks are, if you still have them, you're a kid. And then patron C, be it black or brown, skin still stained makes you a child. Skin still stained spoken out loud is, is kind of a tongue twister, but you know, um, in manga it's fine. Now this next one, kore de ante shiterunda. Um, there's a little bit of a discrepancy here. Patron A, um, yes, but it hasn't gone away. That, that's not what this is actually. Ante shiteru is like to be stabilized. It, it's not, it, it's kore de ante shiterunda. And, and he's being in, in, a little emphatic here with this nda. He's like, like it's stabilized this way. He's not, he's not saying it hasn't gone away yet. He's saying it is stabilized like this. Um, it's permanent basically. Uh, patron B, they're stable like this. That, that's a little unclear. They're stable like this. The, the colors are stable like this, I suppose, is what they're trying to do there. Um, but patron C's is very clean. It's settled in this color. That is what it means. Um, the word stabilized, I guess, is, is kind of odd and stable, of course, is odd, but it's settled in this color. I think that that really captures it well. Um, bubun ni iro ga nokoru no wo. Um, so if you have colors left in part of your skin, uh, they call you a, mosa a mosaic. Mosaic. So I suppose like children in this world, maybe like maybe their entire body is just colored, you know, some colored uh, that's not uh, what adult skin color is. And then this Iroko Chito has like a little bit of color on his forehead and a little bit of color on his hand. Um, so they call us mosaics is just what patron C chose to do. You, you could expand that a little bit. Um, in Japanese, it's like if you have color on part of your body uh, remaining, then you're a mosaic. Patron B, um, Apparently, people whose colors remain on parts of their body are called mosaics. That is very much what it is in Japanese, the um, ndatte. It's sort of like according to people. Um, I don't think you need the apparently, though, because it's followed up with that's what the medical center said. And I guess it's more like that's what the people at the medical center said, because medical centers can't say things necessarily. And eh, that's very nitpicky. Um, Patron A, people who are partially colored are called mosaics. That's what I was told at the medical center. I like that's what I was told at the medical center. And people who are partially colored are called mosaics. I think, yeah, that's, that's what this is. Again, I'd be very careful in um, using the term colored, um, like in any proximity with people, because then you risk, you run the risk of, of having that association colored people because we have a history of racism in you know english speaking countries where those two words together were used kind of kind of in a pejorative sort of way um it's not a necessarily the best idea to put those two words close to each other even though <laughs> in this world that we know of there there isn't uh, that same racism that we have here because we're reading through it with our modern lens we, we can't help but see that um, anyway, next page. Chito says, Kininaru nara tebukuro wo shite oku yo. Okay, and then Green just says, E. Medical center te seido no oku no tatemono no koto ka? Hori maza no iru. So, back to some more lore. 
And then, um, wow, Cheeto has a long little explanation after that. So we'll, we'll do that the next one. Okay, patron A. I can put these back on if it's bothering you. Green just says, it's fine. The medical center. Is that the building in the middle of the temple where the Holy Mother is? I like this. Uh, patron A. I can wear gloves if it bothers you. Uh, no, it's fine. When you say medical center, do you mean the building inside the cathedral where the Holy Mother is? Remember from the last episode that patrons A, B, and C each translated Seido as a different word. One was temple, one was cathedral, the other was shrine. But it all, it's all the same thing. Uh, patron C, Chito, if you don't like it, I'll wear my gloves. Greenjaw, nay. Remember, this is the patron that translates it more um, archaically. Greenjaw, medical center, you said? Might that be in the shrine's center? Might that be a uh, the shrine center? Just proofread that. <laughs> it happens, man. Uh, the Holy Mother's location. Yeah, Hori Maza no Iru dot dot dot. Again, he's not really finishing his sentence. Hori Maza no Iru Basho uh, would be maybe how you'd finish that question. Uh, the Holy Mother's location from patron C, where the Holy Mother is from patron B and A, where the Holy Mother is. Um, the Holy Mother's location. That's interesting. The Holy Mother's location to me sounds a little more like... Um, well, like what Greenja is, how, how they were, you know, casing out the place and like, you know, trying to figure out where everybody is so that they can, you know, perhaps raid it the next day or whatever it is they're going to do. We're not going over that in this video series, so it will remain forever a mystery unless you check out the manga. Um, yeah, so I, I'm actually not mad about that uh, patron C's choice of the Holy Mother's location because Greenja is that kind of person who's like, viewing this whole thing as sort of a scout, right? Yeah, so here's a, a minor note. I just want to show you how patrons B and C expressed this te. So, medical center te dot dot dot. So, anytime you have this, like, apostrophe, not apostrophe, the small tsu with a te after a word. Oftentimes, especially in this case, he's bringing up a word that uh, Chito said earlier, medical center. Um, so it's kind of like adding quotes to the word that came before it, adding this te to the end of it. So it's like, medical center, you said, or, um, so as, as patron B did, um, when you say medical center, dot, 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 do you mean the building inside the cathedral? Patron C did, medical center, you said, might that be in the shrine center? Um, so that's how they expressed that te. Patron A did not express the te that way, but it's still fine. It's still correct. Uh, patron A just did the medical center, dot, dot, dot. Is that the building in the, in the middle of the temple? And that's a good option when you need, when you're short on space. Um, you could also do this medical center, dot, dot, dot. Is it in the center of the building? It's the sort of thing that you can show really well with vocal inflection if something is being voiced, but of course manga is not voiced, so it's important to be clear. All of these are fine, really. I'm just um, showing the distinction there. Okay, so then Chito does an exposition. <laughs> Let's look at Chito's exposition. Un, asoko byouin ga arun da. Nanka tokubetsu no, hora, kodomo ga futsu tou ka soko kara de iro nuke ga hajimatte, ichi nen gurai de ante suru daro, shiroku natte. Boku wa bubun ni iro ga nokottan de senta kara yobaretan da. So, big long line of Chito explaining why he has, uh, you know, colors on, on his body still. And explaining the lore a little bit more. All right, so patron A, yes, there's a hospital there. It's quite special. See, children start to lose color in their skin at age 10. In a year's time, it turns all white and it stays that way. When part of my skin remained colored, I was called to the center. I have one little problem with this. Uh, and I'll see if the other patrons fix that. It's not wrong technically, but you'll see what it is. Patron B, Chito, I do, for Un. There's a hospital there, you know, a special one. So babies, right? They start losing their marking at around 10 days. And after about a year, they stabilize after they've lost it all. I still had patches of color, so I got called in. I have a slight issue with this one too. We'll see if patron E, uh, patron E, patron C, we'll see if patron C uh, does that differently. Right, there's a hospital there, a special one. Most children start losing their skin around age 10 and turn white within a year, right? The center called me back since part of my stain stayed. 
Yes. Okay. It's really subtle. I wonder if any of you picked up on, on what was bothering me. So I said earlier, Cheeto does an exposition, right? So Cheeto is explaining this world's lore to us. We don't know as readers yet about, you know, how children lose their, the colors on their skin around age 10, but Granger would totally know. He, he is from this world. He was, uh, I assume, a kid and a baby. And at least Cheeto assumes this of Greenja. Why wouldn't Greenja be from this world and know about all of this? So when in patron A and B, it comes across as very explainy, like Cheeto is explaining this to Greenja. Um, but Greenja knows about this. Cheeto's actually explaining it to us, the audience. So what patron D, uh, C did with just saying, most children start losing their stain around age 10 and turn white within a year, right? She, uh, like Cheeto's being like, right? Like, of course you know this green job because you're from my world, but I'm just saying it for the audience because they don't know. Whereas patrons A and B did not include that little, that little detail that just, that acknowledges, yeah, Granger knows this, you know about this, but I'm just, you know, telling. And in the Japanese, it's there. It's like, hora, kodomo ga, you know, futsu. It's like, you know how kids, you know, usually start to change colors at age 10 and, and after a year it stabilizes. You know all that, Grinja. But I didn't do that, so la da 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 da. <laughs> so I, I really like that little, just by adding a comma and a right with a question mark, it it, you know, it says, yes, Greenja, you know this, but the audience does not. So that's why I'm explaining it. Everybody got that? The center called me back since part of my stain state. And right, Patron C is electing to call this color colorization a stain, which again, I don't know if this is why Patron C did this, but you know how I said earlier that it's kind of dangerous, kind of dicey to use the word like colored uh, to describe this uh, just because of our history. Um, in our world. I think stain is a, a good way around that. It's talking about a color without using the word colored, right? That also might be why patron C elected earlier to not mention the colors black and brown. <laughs> uh, so, you know, that that's a consideration. I still had patches of color, so I got called in from patron B. When part of my skin remained colored, I was called to the center. Yeah, again, colored and skin close together is, is probably not the best idea. Uh, the next line, Green just says, Kono city ni kite ni kagetsu ni naru ga senta e itta mono no hanashi wa hajimete kiku na. And then Chito says, Kikitai, naka naka mezurashi in da yo. And then Chito continues, Seichi no hanashi da kara fukinshin da te okoru hito mo iru kedo ne. Again, Chito's doing this again. This daro at the end, um, it's like, you know this green job, but I am, you know, saying this for the reader's sake because they don't know. Okay, so let's see what the patrons did about this. Um, patron A, I've been in this town for two months, but this is the first time I've heard a person talk about going there. Chito, want to hear more? It's quite exceptional. Ooh, naka naka mezurashin da yo. I like this. Um, there's a tendency, and I, I'm guilty of this myself, mezurashi, it's really tempting to just translate that as rare <laughs> or unusual, but it's quite exceptional is actually a pretty good translation for this. Like, if it were want to hear, it's it's quite rare. <laughs> it's quite unusual would be okay. But yeah, rare in this case would be a very strange way of expressing mezurashi. I like exceptional for mezurashi. Uh, people can get mad. Oh, people can get mad at me since it's inappropriate to talk about holy ground. I don't know about this can. People can get mad at me. I think patron A might have meant people tend to get mad at me. Um since it's inappropriate to talk about holy ground, but the center is where children come from and where the dead are brought back to, back to? Oh, back to. I would eliminate the two. It's weird to end a sentence on a preposition, but the dead are brought back. Or the dead are returned to maybe, because the dead are brought back to, it, it kind of sounds like you're bringing them back to life. <laughs> uh, I talk about it because I've been there and back. Uh, it's a good omen, really. Hmm. I don't I don't think it's a good omen really is quite uh Engi ga in Let's see what the other patrons do. P 
Patron B, Greenja, I've been in the city for two months now, but this is the first time I've met someone who's been inside the center. Pretty straightforward. Cheeto, want to hear about it? It's an uncommon story. Mm, it's an uncommon story. Yeah. I, I kind of, I get what Patron B is trying to do here. It's a really short space. What, what Cheeto is really saying is like, my story, my story is, uh, is quite an uncommon one or quite exceptional. Um, I'm, I'm an unusual case might, might be a good way of wording this. It's an uncommon story. I don't know. That sounds odd to me. I think my, my story is, is kind of, it's more what we're going for. Um, Cheeto, a lot of people would get mad at me for talking like this about a sacred place, you know. Uh, after all, babies come from the center within the cathedral and bodies are returned there after they die. Yeah, see, by adding the simple you know uh, after that first sentence, that's good because it it lets the reader know that, yeah, Grinja knows that, that, that it's a sacred place and it's kind of taboo to talk about that sort of thing. So that's good. Uh, but I went inside and came back out alive. I think I'm a really lucky person. Yeah, that's more what this is. I think I'm a really lucky person. Engi ga in da yo. It's funny, there's no, there, there's no kanji. <laughs> it's, it's all hiragana, so it's like... Out of context, that could also mean I'm a good actor, truthfully, because uh, Engi is acting as well. If you write it with different kanji. A lot of people would get mad at me for talking. You don't need a lot of people. You could just be people. People would get mad at me for talking like this about a sacred place, you know. After all, babies come from the center within the cathedral and bodies are returned there after they die. I like the bodies are returned there after they die. It, that, that was the clunkiness we were getting from patron A, where the dead are brought back to. It looks like it, yeah, I think my brain is just wanting to, wanting to finish and it's where the dead are brought back to life. <laughs> Even though that's not what happens. Uh, let's see, patron C. I've been in the city for two months, but you're the first person I've met who has been to the center. Cheeto, not surprising. Want to hear more? Ooh, not surprising. Want to hear more? Oh, yeah, I dig this because this is the Mezurashin Dayo. Um, yeah, Cheeto's acknowledging here, it's, it's a special case, like, so I'm not surprised that, that I'm the first person you've met who has been to the center, uh, because I'm a very rare case. Not very many people, um, have my story. I like the express here, not surprising. That actually gets that vibe across really well and with not very many words. So that's pretty awesome. Not surprising, wanna hear more? And th that's another thing you can do in translation too. Uh, like, don't think that you have to keep the question statement order the same. Notice in Japanese, it was a question first and then a statement. Like, oh, do you wanna hear more? Um, it's a pretty, you know, exceptional story that I have. Um, Patron C flip-flopped it. It's like, hey, I'm not surprised that, that, you ha that I'm the first person you've met because there aren't very many people like me. Do you want to hear more? Um, and you can do that. Um, going on, some would say speaking of the shrine is indecent, but we all go there eventually. We leave as kids and our bodies return in death. Look at me, I left and then I went back. Oh, interesting. Okay. So patron C, I, I don't know why patron C did this, but the like I, I have good luck. Um, I'm really lucky. Look at me, I left and then went back. You know, I guess, I guess it's, it's potentially an extrapolation. It's like most people only go there like to die, <laughs> but I got to come back. Look at me. That, that kind of has that implication of I'm lucky. Look at me. It's a bit of a stretch. I don't mind it. I don't think it like is so incredibly wrong that it destroys the spirit of the story. It could have also been an honest mistake that Patron C uh, left out this bubble, but I don't think so. I think, I think they chose to express the I'm lucky as look at me, because that is a, another way of kind of saying I'm, I'm lucky. Some would say speaking of the shrine is indecent. I like that. Instead of a lot of people would get mad at me for talking like this about the sacred place. But yeah, um, I like how patron B added that you know, again, just to soften up this exposition. Patrons A and C, um, I mean, I guess patron C, it's a little bit less exposition-y. By using the we pronoun, 
Uh, but we all go there eventually. It, it includes Greenja more. We leave as kids and our bodies return in death. That includes Greenja a little more and, you know, acknowledges, yes, you know all about this Greenja because you are from this world and you know about the lore. Patron A is more is more purely exposition, though, but the center is where children come from and where the dead are brought back to. I talk about it because I've been there and back. It's a good omen, really. It's a little too exposition-y. Even though, I mean, this is totally what Cheeto is doing. Cheeto is giving us exposition. Uh, but it's always nice, like, as a writer in general, uh, to soften up your exposition and make it make a little more sense as, as for, like, why the character is saying all of this. Okay, the next page, page 19... Greenja says, Soko ni wa nani ga atta n da? Chito says, Nani mo? Gakko mitai na toko ni itte, ato wa iron na kensa o ukeru. And Greenja says, Hori maza wa soko ni? Chito says, Senta wa hiro in da. Chika, buk, ah, chika fukaku, iron na section ni wa karete itte, himitsu no fukai chika de maza wa kodomo o o tsukuri ni naru n da te. So this Honorific o, o tsukuri ni naru is a very polite, honorific, honorable way of saying she makes, <laughs> she makes babies. <laughs> Kodomo o, o tsukuri ni naru. And then this, this, that te, this te at the end, of course, uh, Chito's saying, well, apparently, so I've heard, this is what other people have said. I don't know this for sure because I didn't see it happening, but you know, apparently that's what happens. Okay, so patron A, what's over there exactly? And yeah, like, Greenja is, he's still kind of being a scout. He's trying to figure out more about this uh, place that they're going to bust. <laughs> Chito says, oh, so nani mo, everything? No. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's more like nothing, actually. Um, nani mo nai. It's kind of more like betsuni, nani mo. It's like nothing, really. Um, I went to some place like a school. And I underwent lots, a lot, oh, I underwent a lot of tests. Underwent a lot of tests sounds a little odd. I, un I guess, I guess I understand why Patron A chose I underwent a lot of tests because if it's I took a lot of tests, that can imply like I'm taking like school tests, but what he's actually saying is like I was examined, you know, doctors examined me a lot. Uh, Greenja was the Holy Mother there. Chito, the center is quite vast. It's divided into several sections deep underground. And in a secret area is where they say mother produces children. I would probably just add a the, where, where they say the mother produces children. I know that mother, mother, maza is like kind of the name of this character, but it just sounds a little odd in English to not have a the. Uh, let's see, patron B, what did you see there? So what did you see there versus what's over there exactly? It's a small distinction, but what did you see there? Uh, to me, it sounds like this is implying that Chito wasn't there for very long, because what did you see there? It has more of a vibe that Chito wasn't there for very long, like maybe Chito went there on vacation, only there for a little while. It's the kind of question he'd also ask a scout, you know, not somebody who actually lived there, and Chito has more of a vibe that he actually lived there, so I kind of prefer what's over there to what did you see there. Not much, I like that. They took me to a place that looked like a school, then performed a bunch of tests. Then performed a bunch of tests. Yeah, again, it's a little, then performed a bunch of tests on me um, is more what it is, but yeah, that would take up way more space in the balloon. Did you see the Holy Mother? The center is huge. It's split into a ton of different sections underground. They say mother. Again, I don't know, I, I think I like the mother. I think the mother would be better. Like, I don't know, it's her name, it's ominous. It's, um, it's sci-fi, so it, it could totally work without the the. I think I just personally would like the. They say mother births the children in a secret place deep under the earth. Yeah, I think patron A left out the fukai chika de, deep under the earth. It, it just said in a secret area. I think it, it's a little important that you say it's deep under the earth, especially since you have that visual and that panel right there that's showing that it's like deep under the earth. Uh, patron C... And what happened there, all right, what's over there exactly versus what did you see there versus and what happened there? And what happened there, yeah, nani ga atta n da? Like, that is how you'd ask somebody, like, what happened? But you, it's also a way of saying what was there. So that's where the discrepancy came from. 
But if you look at Cheeto's answer, uh, not much. I went to school and then I, I took a bunch of tests kind of thing. So what happened there, it works. Yeah, I, I think that's my problem with Patron B's what did you see there is just, uh, it doesn't match as well with Cheeto's answer. What's over there exactly and what happened there I think works better with Cheeto's answer. Not much, it was like going to school, it was like going to school. Yeah, it's more like we went, we went to or I went to a place that was kind of like a school. It's not so much it was like going to school, uh, plus some medical texts. That's, that, it's pretty nitpicky though, like th that is basically what he was saying. It's like I didn't really do much down there except go to this place that was like school and they did some tests on me. Uh, Greenja asks, was the Holy Mother there? Uh, Chito answers, it's a big building. It's divided into sections, some parts even go underground. I like the some parts even go underground. They say a secret chamber deep down is where mother makes the children. I think mother needs to be capitalized at the very least. You know, I am warming up to mother not having a the, <laughs> or just mother, where mother <laughs> makes the children. Okay, let's move on. Next panel. Toraburu no aru kodomo wa senta de shusei suru n da. Kekkyoku boku wa mosaiku to ka iwarete, iro wa no koru ga inochi ni beshou wa nai te. And then Greenja says, Maza wa mada kodomo tsukutteru no ka? Chito answers, Sa ne, otoshi datte yu kara ne, kono inu, kono inu mo toshi o totte kodomo o umanaku natta. Nen nen, shiti no jinko wa hetteru te yu kedo. And then the dog says, Kum! <laughs> Which again is kind of like, like a little dog whimper. So he's like, yeah, the problem kids uh, are corrected <laughs> at the facility, at the center. And uh, in the end, they determine that I'm, I'm just a mosaic. Like I'm, I'm not really a problem, I ju I'm just a mosaic. Like I have colors, I have stains still on my body, but it's not life-threatening, so they let me return to the city. And then Green Jack asks, is, is the mother still making kids? <laughs> Again, he's still in scout mode. And Chito's like, it beats me. Like, they, they, you know, you know how they say that she's getting on in years. Otoshi uh, datte. And he's saying, he's saying, yeah, this dog uh, is too old to have kids anymore, too. And he says, and you know what they say, like, year after year, the population in the city just keeps going down. So even more exposition. But again, you've got this, you know, ne and, and all that stuff. He's including Greenja in. Greenja knows all this. So let's see, patron A. Troubled children are sent to the center to be looked over. Yeah, it's not toraburu no aru. It's more like problematic kids or kids with uh, problems. Troubled children implies like um, traumatized children. Troubled children isn't exactly the vibe. It was there that I was told. <laughs> my kitten is purring in my mouth and sniffing on my microphone. <laughs> Maybe you heard her purring on the microphone. Anyway, now she's curling up in my lap. She misses her mommy. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. All right, now she's jumped out of my lap. Anyway, uh, troubled children are sent to the center to be looked over. It was there that I was told I was a mosaic. They said the color would remain, but there was nothing else wrong with me. So I was sent back to the city. Greenja, and is mother still producing children? Chito, they say she's quite old, so I have no idea. This dog is old too, and she stopped bearing children. I've heard this city's population is declining year after year. And the dog says, woof. <laughs> yeah, again, it's more, it's more like a whimper than a woof, but it's a very small balloon, and it kind of doesn't matter what the dog is saying. I don't know, it's kind of nice to have that dog whimpering vibe. Makes the whole thing more pathetic. All right, patron B. In the center, they repair the children born with defects. Oh yeah, defects is a good way for saying toraburu no aru. Yeah, and patron A, they're sent to the center to be looked over. It's more like they're they're repaired, they're corrected, they're fixed. Um, they repair children born with defects. Eventually, they just called me a mosaic. Oh, I like uh, eventually for kekkyoku. Eventually, you know, after after a while, eventually, they just called me a mosaic and. After assuring me the marks weren't life-threatening, they sent me back out into the city. Uh, Greenjaw, if mother is even giving birth anymore, ooh, I kind of like that. 
In Japanese, he was actually asking a question there, like, is mother still producing kids? Is mother still giving birth? It's kind of neat, though, um, if mother is even giving birth anymore. I don't know, I think it's still better to, to keep it as a question here because, again, he's, he's still in scout mode. Uh, Chito, who knows? They say she's quite old. This old girl lost the ability to give birth at, at a certain point, too. I like this for um, this old girl instead of kono inu, like this dog. In English, we would say something like this old girl for, for a dog. Um, lost the ability to give birth at a certain point, too. And supposedly the city's population decreases with each year. And the dog says whine. I like supposedly for this te, te you kiddle. Like people say, they say, supposedly also works for that. Patron C, the center is where they fix the troublesome children. Troublesome children, yeah, I don't know. Troublesome, it, it just implies, that implies like that they're, um, that they misbehave. But it, it really, I think it really is more like there's, there's a problem with my child. Like, just like you'd say there's a problem with my toaster and you take it in to get repaired. That's kind of the, the vibe here. Um, in the end, that's where they told me I was a mosaic. Yeah, in the end. Yeah, see, kekkyoku, my, my impulse is always to translate that as in the end, but it's not always the best translation. I really like Patron B's choice of eventually. They told me I was a mosaic and that the stain won't go away, but it won't affect my health. That works for it's not life-threatening. Then they sent me back to the city. Is mother still bearing children? Who knows? They say she's getting old like this dog. She can't have pups anymore. And that the city's population is going down. And then the dog says sniff. Yeah, sniff also works for kun. Kun is a sound effect for sniffing. Usually it's kun kun. Okay, page 20. Greenja says, Ore no mura wa ore o fukumete go nin kiri da. Go nin no mura de sai nen shou ga ore da. Uh, then Chito says, And then Chito says, ah, ch And then Chito says, And then Greenja answers, Yeah, Asu barukon ni o de ni naru. And then Chito says, Boku wa san nen mae mita yo, Seido no nishi no ho no Dasen kaidan wo no botte, Barukon no sugu soba de. And then Green Jaya says, Dot, 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 as he looks. Okay, so Green Jaya says from Patron A, In my village, there's only five people, including me. I'm the youngest of those five. Water's bad, sickness is spreading, and no children show up when our turn comes. Patron B, Greenja, including me, my village has five people in it. I'm the youngest among them. Disease ran rampant because our water was unclean, and on top of that, our turn to receive a baby never comes. Yeah, that, that's a little clearer there. Patron A, and no children show up when our turn comes, versus our turn to receive a baby never comes. I think that's just a little clearer to what it actually is. No children show up when our turn comes. Like they're both correct and they're both saying the same thing. I just think the wording on patron B's is a little clearer. And that's more what it is in Japanese. Kodomo no banga konakte. Our, our turn to have children never comes sort of thing. Patron C, my entire village is me and four others. So note how in Japanese it's, you know, ore o fukumete, including me, there's five people. And patrons A and B chose to do it that way. There's five people, including me, uh, versus patron C did my entire village is me and four others. So, you know, math, you can do stuff like that. And I think it's shorter for it that way, tighter. I am the youngest. And notice how in Japanese it's among a, a village of five people, I'm the youngest. And patron C just did, I am the youngest. That's fine. And patron B, I am the youngest among them. Patron A kept, I'm the youngest of those five, but it's actually not longer than Patron B's. I'm the youngest of those five. But yeah, there's enough room in that balloon that that's totally fine, that it's longer. Our water is bad, Patron C. Our water is bad and spread and spread disease, and we've been passed over for children. I think Patron C was trying to make this very tight, and because of that, I think it's, it's a little unclear and missing some stuff. So our water is bad and spread disease. I think it's more like he's listing, like, we have bad water. And like, 
I suppose, yeah, it is a bit of a cause and effect because our water is bad. Like our water is bad because of that. We got a bunch, you know, disease <laughs> spread through the village. Our water is bad and spread disease. I don't know, that just sounds weird to, weird to me. Our water is bad and spread. I think and maybe because of the different tenses, like our water was bad and spread disease. Our water is bad and spreads disease. It, it's not grammatically wrong or wrong, actually. It just, it's not, it's weird to me. Our water is bad and spread disease and we've been passed over for children. I like and we've been passed over for children. Our water is bad and spread disease. Patron B, disease ran rampant because, because our water was unclean. Yeah, I think, I think patron C just tried to make it uh, very as tight as possible and the just the the prose suffered a little bit for it it didn't have to be that tight there's room water's bad sickness is spreading yeah you know you could you could um mention this in like the the present tense the water is bad and then there is sickness versus past tense I think it's something that ha that happened and is still technically happening, like the repercussions of it are still happening, so it's not wrong to do it in present or in past. Uh, the next line, Chito. Uh, patron A, sometimes I think the population would grow if we could bear children. And by this he means, like, you know, men. And then Chito says, oh, I'm not really poking fun at mother at all. Uh, patron B, you know, I have this thought sometimes. That That is more the vibe. Sometimes I think, like, I have this, you know, sometimes I think, sometimes I, sometimes I have this thought. If only we could give birth ourselves, the population would increase. I kind of like patron A's, the pa population would grow. But yeah, it is tempting to translate fueru as increase. Uh, but I, I think that population would grow sounds a little more natural than the population would increase. Just, just in, in a more conversational context. The population would increase is more like, I don't know, more official sounding. It's not wrong though. Uh, Chito, oh, but I don't mean to mock mother, of course. I like that. It's like, he's assuring him, oh, but don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not, I'm not mocking mother. <laughs> I'm just saying it would be kind of cool. It, like a lot of our problems would be solved if dudes could bear children. Uh, patron C, sometimes I wonder, wouldn't the population go up if we could make our own children? The, to me, this is reading more like a I don't know, like, I have a bright idea, <laughs> like, crazy idea, <laughs> but uh, wouldn't the population grow up? It, it's more like if only. Wouldn't it be nice if uh, we could have kids? Because then, wouldn't the population go up if we could make our own children sounds more like, I just had an idea of how to solve the problem. <laughs> um, Chito, ah, I don't mean any slight to mother. Oh, I like this. I don't mean any slight to mother. Yeah, it, that is kind of more the vibe. It, it's not so much like I'm not mocking her, but rather um, might be, it's kind of blasphemous almost. Mother mother is like this sacred figure to them. And Cheeto's being like, wouldn't it be cool if dudes could just have kids? Then we wouldn't have to worry about all this shit. <laughs> and it's like, oh no, like, don't get me wrong. I'm, that wasn't a slight to mother. She is great. I worship her. But yeah, I like the slight. Again, patroncy is taking more of a like, classical sort of tone with the with the writing here so that makes sense uh back to patron a by the way did you come to the city to live here green jay answers no i came to see the holy mother she'll appear on the balcony tomorrow uh patron b so so anyway this is reading more like chito is stuttering and chito is not stuttering de is sort of like so or and uh, de. It's more like, well, anyway, that aside, you know, let's not talk about me slandering mother. <laughs> Did you come here to live? Uh, but yeah, just careful. The so dot 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 so anyway, it looks like uh, he's stuttering and he's not. Are you moving to the city? Greenja, no, we came to see the Holy Mother. She's making an appearance on the balcony tomorrow. We came to see the Holy Mother is a bit of a bold choice because he's now revealing to Chito that there's, there's more than just him. And maybe if he's wanting to keep a low profile, it would be more prudent to just say, I, I came here. In Japanese, he's not using any pronouns at all because it's Japanese. <laughs> but just note how that, that uh, reveals some information that maybe he didn't want to reveal. Uh, patron C, and so what? That's weird. 
That almost reads to me like, and so what? Who cares? You moved here to the city? Yeah, I, I think patron C again is just trying to keep it tight and in doing so it's, it's just a little unclear. It sounds like Cheeto's being like, well, so what? Who cares? You moved here to the city? But he's actually just like, let's change the subject. Anyway, um, did you come to the city to, you know, to live here? Uh, Green John, no, I came to see the Holy Mother. She'll appear on the balcony tomorrow. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward. Um, back to patron, <laughs> patron, patron A. I saw her three, oh, I like how patron A uh, capitalized her. It's deifying her. And patron B did it too. I like that. I really like um, capitalizing the, pro the she, her pronouns for um, mother. Because again, it, that's what we do in the English language when we're talking about God with a capital G. We capitalize God's pronouns. So it's, it's just a way of deifying mother. And I, I really dig that. I saw her three years ago. Mm, but I have to make another note. <laughs> Because this also came up, Patron C mentioned this a couple times in the um, last episode, and that, yeah, you're not necessarily going to keep all these capitalizations intact because um, the font in comics is often all caps anyway. Sometimes there's a slight distinction and you can tell the difference between like a capital capital letter versus a, you know, lowercase letter that just looks like a capital letter. But yeah... I, I hope that, that you can keep that distinction. I saw her with a capital H. I saw her three years ago. Go up the temple's western spiral staircase. You'll be right next to the balcony. I think that needs a comma or an and or an M dash. Go up to, between staircase and you'll. Otherwise, it's weird. And he's not necessarily telling Greenja like, to do that. It's more like, that's where I saw her. Uh, let's go on to patron B. I saw her three years ago. She was on the spiral stairs to the west of the cathedral, just near the balcony. Yeah, that, that's more what it is. He's not like, I went up to the stairs and saw her, or you should go up to the stairs and then you'll see her. He's saying like, she was up on the stairs. Just near the balcony. I like that. Um, patron C. I saw her three years ago, climbing the spiral staircase by the balcony on the shrine's west side. Yeah, note how patrons B and C flip-flopped that. Patron B actually kind of kept the Japanese word order intact. She was on the spiral stairs to the west of the cathedral, just near the balcony. That's how it was in Japanese. Seido no nishi no hono kai... Da sen kai dan wo nobotte baruko no sugu soba de. Patron C put it more in an English word order. Uh, climbing the spiral staircase by the balcony on the shrine's west side. Moved that uh, to the end. That's something you can do. And then Greenja is just contemplating that dot, dot, dot. <laughs> anyway, on that note, that is where we are leaving this series. If you're interested in checking out Marginal, um, it is not available in English, uh, but you can get it on Bookwalker in Japanese and check it out if you're interested in that. Well, thanks for listening to this episode and thank you to the patrons who participated. I put all their information in the show notes. And I'll see you again next month for an exciting new episode of Let's Translate Manga. Bye!